Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And uh, today's review, no, tonight's review, is another wine review. This is the third, basically the third wine review today. And uh, from Asda and their miniature wines uh, section, Lucotto Pinot Grigio 2017. Uh, and it says here, a fruity and refreshing Pinot Grigio from Italy, as most are, to be fair. Although, some from uh, Hungary and Lithuania. Uh, lovely and smooth, this would be delicious on its own or with salads, chicken or fish dishes. Sounds good. Let's crack it open. Just so happens I'm having some chicken in a bit. Just ordered a nice Chinese salt and pepper chicken. On, uh, basically it's like chicken batter, but in, a salt, in salt and pepper or salt and spicy. Um, batter, absolutely top notch, delicious. And not bad price, I prefer. So, typical strawish colour, you know, it is what it is with Pinot Grigio's. You know, and most white wines, to be fair, you know. Oh, a bit cold in here tonight. Um, oh, fruity. Not a lot on the nose, to be fair. Light, you know, very light on the um, on the taste. Put my lid back on my barrel. I've just bottled up 22 litres of uh, Primitivo, which is a red Italian wine. So, can't wait to uh, get that, let it mature. Um, definitely get hints of peach and pear in this oh. so one pound seventy five for a um, and uh, the strength is twelve percent so you know fairly decent strength um, most white wines are in that ten to fourteen percent area and most I think around about 12 to 13 and a half if, if you know really very easy drinking you know it's um, and one of them where you know you, you're one of, I mean really much better when you when you're eating chicken fish you know that sort of thing and salads even and with friends <laughs> so you get to the weekend and look at it bloody cloudy, overcast the sun not bothered to show its face um, very disappointing although we've got the Octobon it's already on 36 degrees so a couple more degrees and uh, we'll be able to get in and uh, have an hour of chill time in the Octobon and I may have a drink of wine while I'm in there just to help um, chill out even more. Ooh. So yeah, it's light, it's fruity. Um, for me, it would be better with food than without. You know, it's one of them, you want to be drinking while you're having something to eat, you know. Um, and obviously, white chicken, uh, chicken and uh, any white meat, not so much pork, I don't think, but uh, and certainly fish, you know, that's, that's where this comes into its own, you know, it adds to the flavours. Definitely the flavours come out, you know, when you let it sit in your mouth for a few a minutes or so, and uh, the flavours start to protrude a little bit more then. I 
I would suck it through my teeth and do the old, uh, do that sort of thing. And if you hadn't, if you hadn't ever heard of that, I went to a wine course with Sainsbury's when I worked there. And you, you get whatever you're drinking, you get some in your mouth, and uh, it's not easy to do. And you hold it back and then you suck air through your teeth and it accentuates whatever that flavour is and it just sends it all up your nose and it gives you, uh, gives you a proper rush. And the only thing is if it's, if it's got a lot of um, flavour in the drink, then you, you're going to know about it. You know, it's really going to um, uh, knock you back a bit. Let's try. And if I choke... It's nice. Um, so, went down very easy. Um, no nasty aftertastes. Um, it's a pina grigio. It does what it says on the tin, really. Um, the taste you'd expect. Uh, one of the strongest selling uh, wines in the country at the moment, you know, for white wines. When I worked at Sainsbury's, we used to sell a brand called Mondelli. Uh, no doubt a Sainsbury's own brand in disguise. But uh, yeah, Mondelli Pinot Grigio and then Mondelli Blush and then Toretta Pinot Grigio. And uh, yeah, so to break it down, normal straw colour, uh, not much on the aroma to be fair. Good tastes of uh, peach, pear, um, fruitiness, and all around, very nice drink. Uh, so, out of five, I'm um, going to give it a rating of 4.4 out of five. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. It wasn't exceptional, don't get me wrong. But uh, very nice, very palatable, very easy to drink. Hmm. Thanks for watching. See you soon.